This is question number seven. We're told the diagram shows a curve y equals the f of x, where f is the function defined for all real values of x, by f of x is equal to 3 plus 4e to the minus x. In the first part of the question, for one mark, we're asked to state the range of f. As x tends to positive infinity, 4e to the minus x will tend to zero. So we can see that we'd have an asymptote at this point right here, and we can say that the range will be defined for all real values where the f of x is greater than 3. So just jotting this down, we've got the range, and the range now f of x will be greater than 3. And that's one way you could write it. In the second part of the question for 4 marks, we're asked to find an expression for f to the minus 1 of x and state the domain and range of f to the minus 1. So what we're looking for is the inverse. Let's start with the domain and the range. The range of the original function becomes the domain and vice versa. So if I take now the range of this function, it will be the domain of this one. So just jotting these down. So we can say the domain, now x will be a real number and x will be greater than 3. The range, we can say f to the minus 1 of x will simply be a real number. So all I've done is swap them over. We've given the domain of f just here. It's defined for all real values. So the range will belong to the reals. OK, let's now look for an expression for f to the minus 1. So we want the inverse. I'm going to now let y be equal to 3 plus 4e to the minus x. I'm going to swap the x's and the y's and set about making y the subject. So x will be equal to 3 plus 4e to the minus y. Subtracting 3 from both sides of the equation, dividing by 4, x minus 3 over 4 will be equal to e to the minus y. I can invert these fractions and write now 4 over x minus 3 will be equal to e to the positive y. Remember, e to the minus y is 1 over e to the y. Writing the equivalent log statement, we can say at this stage now, y will be equal to the natural log of 4 over x minus 3. And now using the notation f to the minus 1 of x, the inverse function can be written now as the natural log of 4 over x minus 3. So that's four marks in the second part of the question. Moving on to the third part, again for four marks, we're told the straight line y equals x meets a curve y equals f of x at the point p. By using an iterative process based on the equation x is equal to the f of x with a starting value of 3, find the coordinates of the point p. We're asked to show all our workings and give each coordinate correct to three decimal places. So what we have then is x will be equal to the f of x. So we've got x will be equal to 3 plus 4e to the minus x. Setting up an iterative process, I can write x sub n plus 1 will be equal to 3 plus 4e to the minus x sub n. We have now x naught or x sub naught and that is 3. That's our starting value. So we'll have x naught which is equal to 3 and I'm going to look now for values of x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3, x sub 4 and we'll go up to x sub 5. We might not need to to find this correct to three decimal places. All I'm going to do though is plug it into a calculator and then give my answer to three decimal places. So in the calculator, 3 and then equals. This is my answer. So what I'll have is 3 plus 4, then we'll have e to the minus answer. This is going to give me x sub 1, which gives me 3.19914. So let's write this in. We've got 19914 dot 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 and so on and so forth. Let's get x sub 2, so that's going to be 16318, so writing this down, 16318, dot, dot, dot. If we look at the next one, we're going to have now, so just 136, let's just put the 1 in there, there we go. Let's now look at the next one, so 16916, so we'll have 16916, dot, 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 dot. 
If we look at the next one, we've got 16815. So we've got 16815 dot dot dot. And this one should be the same. There we go, 16832. So 16832 dot dot dot. Therefore, we can say that this now is going to be 3.168 and that will be to 3 dp. My solutions now, or my coordinates, will have the point P and we'll have 3.168, comma, 3.168. If we look at this, it's on the line y is equal to x, so the x and the uh, y coordinates will be the same. Okay, in the uh, fourth part for one mark, it says how is the point P related to the curves y equals the f of x and y equals f to the minus 1 of x? It's the point of intersection. All we're going to do is write that down. It's the point of intersection. So let's jot this here. So point of intersection. So point of intersection. Remember, with your inverse function, we're going to have now graphically a reflection in the line y is equal to x. So our iterative process has found us now this point p and what we'll have it'll look something like this. So this is now the reflection in the line y is equal to x. We've got f of x and we have f to the minus 1 of x and that is the point p and it lies on the line now y is equal to x. So in total 10 marks for question 7.